Hey guys, it's Meg here, and this is the second part of the two-part um, collab that I am doing with Dutch Sims 3 Girl. The first one was obviously me building my house, and on her channel it was her building her house, and now it is us decorating each other's house. Um, this was a really fun one to do just because I never actually, like, I always plan out my building of the house and the decoration, um, or at least the idea of the layout and things like that beforehand. So the reason that this was really fun was that, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't build the house, so I had to kind of work with the contours of the house, because obviously we can't change the layout of the house and everything. And that's not only a bit more of a challenge, but it also just makes it super fun. Now, I really loved this kitchen. I made a huge island with an ov oven, I mean a stove, um, in the center, and then tons of counter space all around, and then these two walls um, that separate the kitchen from the dining room area, um, I actually added the island to and added some bar stools and it just makes it look so cool. Um, right here I'm adding the cabinets. It just looks really awesome because it has a pass-through um, right into the dining room where I just put a really big table and lots of chairs um, and a few decorations. But also it keeps it so that it's usable space. Um, I went with more traditional uh, kind of neutral colors in this house. Um, I wanted to match the all the like wall colorings and things like that that were already there. But uh, I just the house itself, the, from the outside and everything, seems a lot more traditional. So I figured I would leave it that way. Um, this is a long pause because I was taking a break. But um, I started by doing the kitchen and the dining room, and then I moved into the main entrance, and I just added some shelving and some bookcases. Really, I just felt like that was the only thing to do there because it was such a small kind of like empty space. It would have looked really weird not to have something there. So I thought that bookcases would really fill up the space nicely. And then a large rug. And then in the little coat closet that's off that main area, I just added a coat rack from Ambitions so that it looks, you know, like it's real um, space. So now, uh, in this room that is off the master bathroom, uh, I just put a washer and a dryer because I thought, I, I think that she intended it for it to be a closet, um, but. I thought that it would be cool to have a washer and dryer, and then I just made a master bathroom that had a toilet sink uh, and a tub and a shower. The master bedroom has the awesome four-post bed. I think it just looks really grand and like an actual master bedroom. And then um, you'll see a living room, which I think worked really well for the space because it has like a two-area kind of thing. Uh, and then a guest bedroom that has a desk as well so that it, you also have like an office space. Um, don't forget to head over to my Facebook and Twitter page. That's where I give updates on new videos I'm uploading and I also ask your uh, opinion on new videos that you want to see come out. Also, I am planning on doing a QA. and a um, I have a video that's just a short 20 second video talking about it. Um, and if you guys tweet me um, with the hashtag AskMegWayne to my Twitter, then I might be able to use your question in the video, um, or you can also just leave questions on the actual um, video and the, on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. This collab was so fun, and I cannot wait to see how she decorated my house, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!